but I, I can't answer the relative questions because he defied being able to answer them. My name's Johanna Demetrakis. I'm the producer and director of a film called Crazy Wisdom, The Life and Times of Chegim Trungpa. Chegim Trungpa was an extraordinary Tibetan Buddhist who escaped from Tibet in 1959 like the Dalai Lama did. He is from eastern Tibet, which is a very remote section, and it's not, it doesn't have big cities in it like Lhasa. And when I first drove into Tibet from China, we drove for a day and a half. Um, and as we drove in, you'd see like a plateau, and then you'd see these mountains, and you'd be driving to the mountains, you know. And then you'd go around, and you'd climb the mountains. And then you'd get to the top of the mountains, and the whole vast world would open up to you, and you'd see mountaintops. And your mind would go every time you went up there. And I, I began to understand, well, how, this is how the Tibetans were able to work with Buddhism for 1,200 years, undisturbed, you know. I was a student of Trungpa Rinpoche, and I thought he was a remarkable person. He just blew my mind. So it was personal, and it was also incredibly challenging because he's such a complex figure. He's controversial. I had to figure out a way so that my audience wouldn't be just seeing it as sort of an exploitation of controversial figure, but at the same time, be honest about it, don't whitewash anything, and see if the wisdom can come through. The basic notion of art at all means how to relate oneself and how to relate with one's phenomena world gracefully. In making the decisions, uh, the editing, editorial decisions, I, I wanted to, I would say one of the things that guided me was I wanted to make a film that was ultimately uplifting. The rhythm of the film, in a funny way, I know this is going to sound a little woo, but in a funny way, the rhythm of the film comes, is set by Trungpa Rinpoche himself. And so you couldn't, I mean, I could cut a great montage, you know, with this, this bite and that bite, and then this funny shot and a goofy still and a sexy woman, and you know, I could cut that. But it was, as soon as I cut anything that ever came close to that, it was like, it made me laugh, it was stupid. So slowly I began to kind of find a way to create funny moments and to create some space so that when some of these profound ideas were just coming through, that my audience would get a chance to take a breath and experience them a little bit. I hope it makes the, the audience more open as a person to other people and to other ways of doing things. I know this sounds like Hollywood or something, but I'm very excited about, about being at Santa Barbara because it's our premiere. So it's the first time we're going out into the world with it. I am, can't wait to share this film. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if anyone's going to get it, but I can't wait to share it.